Yeah, she went out. She she was married to a guy that was really not a good person, and he was a church girl. So she went to church, but she wanted to hear the word. My brother, uh, my boss at the hotel, who's a very, very nice lady, her daughter overdosed and died. Mm. Uh, a young girl. Mm. And uh, she, had, she hadn't even seen her or spoke to her in like five years. Mm -hmm. uh, she'd been trying to get her help, but she feared that this day would come, and it has. Yeah. So uh, pray for her and her family. They're really going through it. And yeah. I think the Lord will help oh, them. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes. First lady.
youngest brother. He is homeless, he has mental issues, he has sickness, and he just he's just out there. So just pray that the Lord will be just touching his mind, you know, and then remind him of being out, out the rain, so to speak. Yeah. Brother. Pray that the Lord will and I I do hear whatever you call me to do. Yes, amen. Sue Excellence, Excellence is the chief. Amen. All right. If there be none other request, Black Dutch Church to stay. Amen. Let's go back to the biggest of prayer. Gracious Father. Yes, Lord. Lord, we come before you saying. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us out one more time. Yes, yes Lord. Lord, how you marched over us. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Another week. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Look on us. Look down upon those who may Yes, Yes, Lord. Send forth your cup. Send forth your Remember those who may be Hallelujah. Lord God. Yes, Lord. Lord God. disciples, he told them, you are clean through the word that I have spoken unto you. Yes, I have spoken the word unto you. You are clean through the word that I have spoken unto you. So tonight, uh, be prepared to have your soul washed. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> your mind's purified. Yes, Lord. Uh, your heart's clean. Amen. 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 Through the word, through the word, through the word, of the Lord. So as we get ready uh, to be with our Bible study on tonight, uh, we're going to look into the book of St. John. St. John, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. St. John chapter 17. Amen. St. John chapter 17. Amen. Our lesson tonight, our lesson tonight out of St. John chapter 17, uh, we're going to deal tonight uh, with intercessory, with intercessory prayer. Amen. Intercessory prayer. Can we say that together? Intercessory prayer. prayer. And, and to intercede, to intercede really means to make a request known, amen, to make a request known, and, and Jesus uh, has taught us that intercessory prayer is uh, making a request known unto God for others that God would intercede on their behalf, amen, we all should be intercessors. In our prayer, we should pray one for another. Amen. We should pray for the power of God, Amen. that the power of God may help us. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 
Book of St. John. And looking at the book of St. John, as we begin to study about Christ and about what he has done, one of the, one of the, the primary aspects of Jesus' ministry, the primary, the primary aspect of the of the ministry of Christ. Primary. Primary aspect of the ministry of Christ is that is that Jesus yeah, let me get that. Jesus Thank you, Lord. Amen. That's all. You understand? Thank you, Jesus. All is well, brother. All is well. Thank God. Praise God. All right. Let us pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, for strength. We pray for the anointing. We pray for peace. Yes. Amen. We pray for our beloved daughter, Lord, that has just walked out on us, Lord. We pray yes, that Lord. you would touch her mind, touch yes. her spirit, yes. in, the name soul, of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Give her a calm, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. that passes all understanding yeah. Yeah. that she'll be able to regain herself yeah. and come to the Bible study. Oh, Lord, we pray oh, this in the name of the Jesus. Name of Jesus. Jesus. We bind every evil spirit Jesus. and every demonic yeah. power yeah. that would come to yeah. 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 Father, we thank you and praise you. Yeah. All of in the precious and mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Come on, let's give the Lord a chapter 17, uh, we have to, uh, uh, chapters 14, 15, 16, Jesus is really teaching and preparing his disciples for his departure. And those, those chapters there, Jesus is really encouraging his disciples to uh, operate in unity, to, to, to prepare themselves for suffering to get ready for the Holy Ghost, the, the Comforter coming. Yeah. And he's, he's just going down a list of things, uh, getting the house in order. Yeah. Amen. 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 So in this, this final chapter, chapter 17, amen, it's, it's strictly Jesus uh, being an intercessor. He's making intercessory prayer. He's taking on the role of a great high priest. Amen. Yeah. It's a, he's a great high priest. Amen. 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 And he's, he's intercessing, interceding for himself. He's intercessing and interceding for the apostles. Yeah. He's interceding and, 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 and intercessing for the body of Christ, mm -hmm. the ecclesia. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And he specifically says... I'm not praying for the world. Amen. I'm not praying for the world, but I'm praying for myself. I'm praying for the apostles. Yes. And I'm praying for the church. Yes. Amen. Amen. For the body of Christ, the ecclesia. Amen. 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 Thank you. Lord. That's what he's, he's literally praying for. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Dick. Oh, I got a mic and I got a toy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we see it in, um, I wanted to say that the primary, the primary purpose for Jesus coming to this earth is to save souls. Amen? Mm -hmm. To save souls and to give eternal life. Mm -hmm. Amen? That's his primary purpose. Everything else that you receive from Christ is great. Amen. It's, it's, it's a bonus. Okay. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. huh? Y'all with me tonight? Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's a bonus. Right. Anything else that you receive from him is a bonus. As he yeah. says, seek ye first 
the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things shall be what? Added. added unto you. Anything else other than that is a bonus. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why I say that is, is for this one particular reason. That, that if in this life uh, you don't obtain that one particular purpose, uh, eternal life, you have missed the mark. Amen. Amen. You have fallen short. Doesn't matter mm -hmm. if you uh, get a, a, a house on the hill. Amen. Amen. And yes. Get your body healed, set free, and delivered by Jesus. Yes. If 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 you don't obtain eternal life, yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, you have missed the very reason and the very purpose for Him coming. Yes. Amen. Yes. Now I'm going to say this as well to, to the uh, to the opposite ex extreme. If, if uh, in this life you've got poor as a pauper, uh, and yet you have eternal life, you have gained everything. What profit of a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? And what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Amen. That's very important to know that the primary purpose and the primary, the primary uh, mission by which Jesus is to accomplish what he wants for you is, is through the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen? I want you to hold where you are just for a moment and, and go over to Isaiah 59 and verse 21. Isaiah 59 and verse 21. Thank you, Jesus. In verse 21. All right, I'm starting to feel the Holy Ghost. As now. for me. I know, all right, all right, read. As for me. As for me. This is my covenant with them, now, saith the Lord. Now, God says, this is my covenant with you, saith the Lord. What does the word covenant mean? An agreement. Agreement. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, read. My spirit that is upon thee. My spirit that is upon thee. And my words which I have put in thy mouth. Uh -huh. Shall not depart out of thy mouth. Uh -huh. Nor out of the mouth of thy seed. Mm -hmm. Nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed. Mm -hmm. Saith the Lord. From henceforth and forever. Amen. So God, God is saying about Christ about Christ, that my covenant that I'm making unto you uh, concerning my word. Yes. Amen? And this word relates to the gospel of Jesus Christ. He said it shall not depart out of thy mouth. When, that, when you see that phrase, that's a, a Jewish idiom that means that ye shall not cease to speak of it. Uh, it shall continually be in your mouth. Right. That's what he means by that. Amen? And not only in your mouth, but read. Nor out of thy seed, the mouth of thy seed. Out of thy seed, read. Nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed. So that's telling you he's talking about generation, uh, perpetual generation. Mm -hmm. right. Amen? That this gospel should not be ceased to be spoken of. Mm -hmm. uh, why? Because it is literally the power of God unto salvation. Amen. 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 Uh, Y'all with me tonight? Amen. Thank you, Lord. It's the power of God unto salvation. Now hold that thought. Mm -hmm. uh, now go to Isaiah 61 and verse 1. Uh, this Bible study, that's why we bring our Bibles and and become familiar and acquainted with the scriptures. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Isaiah 61 and verse number one. What's it say? The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Uh, now the anointing. Now this is this is this is written for Christ. Amen. Sometimes we apply this to ourselves, but this is really a prophecy about Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
And notice what he said, the spirit of the Lord, the anointing mm -hmm. uh, of God. This is why I have been uh, manifested here upon this earth. Mm -hmm. uh, the spirit of the Lord has given me this mission, this assignment. Read. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Uh, so the, the, the anointing is upon Jesus to do what? To preach. Mm -hmm. uh, good tidings, the good news, the gospel. Mm -hmm. Amen. To the meek. Who are the meek? Uh, the those, lowly. Those are, huh? The lowly. The lowly. Those that are humble enough to hear it. Those that are humble enough to receive it. Amen. Uh, you got to humble yourself to be able to receive the gospel. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to prepare your mind and your heart to be able to receive the gospel. Mm -hmm. yes, Amen. Cool. You got to see yourself in need mm -hmm. uh, to, yes. to, to receive the gospel. Mm -hmm. Blessed are those that hunger and thirst mm -hmm. after righteousness mm -hmm. and they shall be filled. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to have a hunger. You got to have a thirst. You got to have a need. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to have a desire. Uh, you got to want to change. Yes. Uh, those that come to Jesus have a desire to change. Yes. Uh, they don't like the direction that they're going. They hear the gospel and they repent. They change. Yes. They turn. Yes. Amen? Amen. And Jesus is anointed. Yes. He's anointed to do that. Yes. Uh, uh, read what you said. He has sent me to bind up the broken heart. Uh, so now in, in order to the part of this part of salvation... See, thank you, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is, is talking to me. And I said, you ain't got to go bit by bit. Just read the scripture. Amen. <laughs> um, people, get, people get it. Amen. Yeah, yeah. So, read what's it said? To bind up the brokenhearted. To bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captive. Uh -huh. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Amen. So, the whole purpose of the gospel is to set you free. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Whom the Son has set free is what? Free indeed. Free indeed. Amen. Amen. So, so once an individual is set free uh, by hearing the gospel, then that, that, that verse in Isaiah 59, 21 takes place. Wherein Jesus, he, he is praying in, in St. John chapter 17 that he wants his kingdom or he wants his mission to continue. Mm -hmm. Amen? He wants it to continue. He doesn't want it to cease. No. He doesn't want it to stop. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Huh? Thank mm -hmm. you, Lord. Like, like Christian ministries, if I were to die, I want somebody to, to rise up. I want the Lord, Lord put somebody in place and rise up and keep it going. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I, I don't want it to die. Right. Amen. I don't want it to cease. Yeah. Amen. And God does not want his church to cease. No. He doesn't want it to die. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't want it to stop. Right. Amen. That's why Jesus, he made intercessing, intercessing, intercessory prayer for you and I. Amen. Amen. So that we can continue on uh, and, and keep the gospel of Jesus Christ alive. Yeah. Can we agree with that? Amen. 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 Now, let's go back over to the Isaiah chapter 17. I mean, John. John. John 17. He wants his followers to continue the work that he started. Notice, he wants us to continue it, being unified with him and unified with one another. Mm -hmm. huh? Amen. Can we agree with that? Amen. Yes. That he wants this gospel to continue with us being unified with him huh? and unified with one another. Yeah. Amen? Amen. And it's written in the scriptures. It's written in the scriptures that he wants this unity in order for it to continue. Amen? Mm -hmm. if, if we stop being unified with Christ, the, the power of the gospel will cease. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, that's a bold statement. If we stop being unified with one another, the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ will cease. Amen. That's a bold statement. Yeah. That's a bold statement. Yeah. Hallelujah. That, that you have a part to play in the purpose. I can't say that word. The, 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 uh, Jesus. Lord, help me here, Holy Ghost. The perpetuation. The perpetuation. The propelling of. Uh, the moving of. The continuation of. The gospel depends upon our unity. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Amen. I got a couple of you. Uh, it depends on it. Amen? You have a part to play. We have a part to play. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. My God in yes. My God in All right? That's a bold statement. Yeah. Amen? We're going to prove it tonight. Amen? Hallelujah. So it makes a difference. Uh, it makes a difference about our unity. Mm -hmm. It makes a difference about our love one to another. Mm -hmm. It makes a difference on how I love Jesus. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen? Because he Amen. said, if you love me, you'll do what? Keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. You'll walk before me. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now, notice it. Uh, uh, St. John chapter 17 and verse number one. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee. Okay, now Jesus, we once said already that uh, in this particular chapter, he's being the high priest. Amen. He's making intercession. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to draw your attention uh, to some words. You know that in this particular chapter, he's going to repeat over and over again. Amen. Mm -hmm. And in your Bible study, when when words are repeated over and over again, especially in a particular chapter, you should do what? Take heed. Pay attention. Take heed. Amen. Consider those words. Amen. Amen. Because the Lord ain't just speaking. He's speaking to be speaking. Amen. Amen. So that we can hear. Amen. And in this particular uh, uh, chapter, I counted it myself. Uh, he speaks of the word glorify or glory eight times. Uh, and then he speaks of the world. I counted it 15 times. In this one particular chapter, oh, wow. he says the world 15 times. Amen. So now we got to pay attention. Amen. To glorify and, and glory. And what is he saying about the world? Huh? <laughs> I feel like teaching now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We have a responsibility to the world. Amen. 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 Huh? Come on here. Amen. Don't you got a responsibility in the world? Amen. Got a responsibility. Amen. He said, let your light shine yeah. uh, before men that they may see your good works and do what? Glorify, Glorify. Yeah. Uh, your Father which is in heaven. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And then he speaks, he speaks of, of oneness being one. He speaks of that six times. Wow. Amen. In the scriptures. And he, he says that he has glorified the name of the Father at least four times. Amen? Uh, in these scriptures. And I'm bringing that out so that we can have understanding. Amen? All right? All right, go ahead and read, read verse 1 again. These words spake Jesus uh -huh. and lifted up his eyes to heaven yes. and said, uh -huh. Father... Uh -huh. The hour is come. All right. Now he said, Father, the hour is come. The hour has come for my death. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm about to die. Mm -hmm. I'm about to. The hour has come for me to complete the work mm -hmm. uh, that you have given unto me. Yeah. The hour has come for, for me to present unto those that are ready to receive eternal life. 
Mm -hmm. uh, my hour has come for me to let loose the apostles mm -hmm. that you have given unto me. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. He said, I prepared them, I got them ready, and now it is time. Yes. Uh, it's time. It's time. It's time. Now the hour has come mm -hmm. for people to receive revelation mm -hmm. uh, about you, uh, mm -hmm. Father, about the work that you have given unto me uh, for you to be revealed so that people can be set free, right. so that people can be saved, yeah. so that people can be delivered, yeah. so that people can receive eternal life. Amen. 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 The hour has come. Yeah. It's time. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done the work that you have given me to do. It's time. Mm -hmm. It's time now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's time. Our people, he said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son, uh -huh. that thy son also may glorify thee. Now, what he means here is, the hour has come that, that, that you may glorify me. Father, glorify Thy son, read. That thy, that, that thy son also may glorify that thee. That thy son may also glorify thee. Now, you got to understand what that word glorify means. Amen? Mm -hmm. Understand what the word glory means. If you look it up in the Hebrew, it means weight. It means to be weighty. Mm -hmm. Amen? Um, it, means, it means to be weighty. And 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 wait for, and when you apply it to what Jesus is saying in the New Testament, he said, uh, 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 "Make what I'm doing significant. Make it uh, that word significant ain't doing the right word to it. Make it weighty. Yeah. Make it glorious. Yeah. Magnify me." Yeah. Glorify me. Yeah. Huh? Make, make what I'm doing worthy of praise, glory, and honor. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's why when I, when I studied that out, I said that's why we worship him the way we worship him. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's why we go all in the yeah. way we go all in. Right. Uh, because what he has done is weighty. Yeah. Right. Uh, what he has done is significant. Uh, what he has done is prime and premier. Uh, because the Bible says, no man cometh unto the Father but by him. There is no other man uh, given unto heaven whereby men must be saved other than the name of Jesus. Uh, isn't that way? Uh, didn't he say, he said, I am the way. How uh, the truth. And the life. Uh, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Uh, uh, that's weighty, ain't it? Uh, that's glorious, ain't it? You can't be saved without Jesus. You can't be delivered without Jesus. You can't be healed without Jesus. You can't be set free without Jesus. So that's why we ought to magnify him. Uh, that's why we ought to give him glory. Uh, the more we, we, we understand the revelation yeah. of Jesus Christ, we will glorify him. Yeah. Uh, because there is no other name given unto heaven whereby men must be saved Amen. other than Jesus, Amen. Uh, other than the Lord. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I said, read that verse again. Father. The hour is, oh, you want me to read the whole thing? Yeah, Father. I was going to, these words. Uh -huh. These words spake Jesus yeah. and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee. Now, it's all about Jesus being glorified and him glorifying the Father. Yeah. 
Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, go over to the book of Acts. Acts chapter number 3. You know, the Lord dealing with my mind. That's why we should really hammer on the gospel. When we want people to be saved, yeah. be delivered, mm -hmm. huh? uplift the gospel. That's magnify right. the gospel. That's right. Because in that, you're magnifying Jesus. Man. Right. Huh? Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. My brother? And a lot of times we uh, preachers, they're motivational speakers. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And if you don't mention Jesus, nah, nah, nah. you haven't preached. You haven't preached. Nope. <laughs> you haven't done nothing. You haven't done nope, nope. I like I like what he said. Mm -hmm. He ain't done nothing. Mm -hmm. huh? Thank you, Lord. You gotta talk about Jesus. Yeah. Got to. Yeah. Amen. He the center of everything. Yeah. That's right. Good news. All things was made for him, by him, and without him there was nothing made. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is the good news. Yeah. All right, read that. What, three and what, Pastor? Oh, three and thirteen. You should have read the Bible again. <laughs> <laughs> the God of Abraham. Now notice, he said the God of Abraham. Uh, and of Isaac. Uh, and of Isaac. And of Jacob. And of Jacob. The God of our fathers. The God of our fathers. Hath glorified his son Jesus. Uh, now notice, he has made him worthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Glorified him. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, that means that, that, that he is Highly exalted. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Uh, Jesus ain't no ordinary. No. Uh, no. He's highly exalted. Yes, he is. Uh, and we should highly exalt him. Yes. Uh, uh, he's your everything. Yes, he yes. is. Uh, read. Whom you delivered up. Uh -huh. You and delivered him up. And denied him in the presence of Pilate. Uh -huh. You denied him. When he was determined to let him go. Uh-huh. But ye denied the Holy One and the just. Now notice, notice the, the accolades. He's the Holy One. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the just one. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. He's holy. Yeah. He's just. Yeah. He's without sin. Yeah. Uh, he's the just one and the justifier. Yeah. What I mean by he's the justifier. The only way you can be justified if you came by him. Yeah. Huh? You, you can't come any other way. Yeah. Huh? If you want to be saved, you got to come by Jesus yeah. in order to be declared righteous. Man. In order to be declared holy. Yes. Huh? No other way. All others that come any other way are a thief yeah. and a robber. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we have to glorify him. Yeah. Huh? Magnify him. Yeah. Be what verse is that? That's 14. All right, read. But ye denied the Holy One uh -huh. and the just. Now don't deny him. Read. And desired a murderer to be granted unto uh -huh. you. Read. Barabbas. Give us the right. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, kill, and killed the Prince of Life. Now notice. They killed the Prince. Now notice. Notice. I brought you here for the words. Uh, they called him the Prince of Life. Uh, he's the Prince of Life. Mm -hmm. uh, hallelujah. He, he gives life. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, did he tell Mary, he, uh, or Martha, uh, I am the resurrection. Yes. I am the life. Yeah. He that cometh to, uh, uh, what did he say? Jesus. No, he did. Yeah, sure he did. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm mixing up the scriptures. <laughs> I, uh, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were what? Dead. Dead. Yet shall he what? Live. Live. Uh, and he that liveth and believeth, he shall what? Never die. Never die. Prince of life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Prince of life. That's why we should glorify him. Yeah. That's why we should praise him like we crazy. Yeah. Uh, like we have lost our mind. Yeah. Uh, that's why we should lift him up and give him glory and honor. Amen. Don't let nobody stop you from worshiping. Don't let nobody stop you from praising and magnifying the King of Kings no. uh, and the Lord of Lords. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Preacher, a lot of times we talk about uh, 
what they're doing in heaven. Yes. The angels is praising him. Praise him. The, 20, the 20 and 4 elders is praising him. Yes. They're all up there praising Christ. Yes. Huh? Yes. And all day and all night. All day and all night. Holy. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right, read it. Holy. And kill the prince of life, uh -huh. whom God hath raised from the dead. Now notice, he's the only one uh, mm -hmm. that, that, that has been raised from the dead with the Holy Ghost, able to give you life. Amen. Uh, there's other people that's been raised from the dead, yeah. but ain't nobody been raised from the dead like Jesus. No. Uh, no. When he got up, <laughs> he got up with all. That's because he had he the divine God. blood that God had ordained. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's the complete revelation of God. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Right. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God in heaven. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me. Yeah. Hallelujah. My sister, go ahead and read. Oh. Hey. Now we're still in Acts. You want me to keep going? Yeah, what verse is she? Did you Six, finish 16? No, I didn't read. I'm all the way down to 16. 15. It says, Whereof we are witnesses. All right, now they're witnesses. Read. And his name through faith in his name. Now, now who else can be like that? <laughs> huh? Through faith in the name of Jesus. What? He hath, hath made this man strong. Now, who? Yeah. Who else? Can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have faith in my. You can go to the bank and say, uh, Bishop Quinn sent me here. They're going to say, Well, uh, thank God for Bishop Quinn, but you know uh, what you want. Uh, uh, they may send you out the back door and say, Well, hey, that's good, but what you want. But now you come in the name of Jesus. Uh, thank you, Lord. They, they, they got to buy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They're going to pause. Yeah. Uh, something's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, if you believe. Hallelujah. If you believe, something can happen. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it, it will. Happen. Now, now, that's why we ought to exalt him. Yeah. Uh, because in his name, you can get delivered. Yeah. In his name, you can be set free. Yeah. In his name, remissions of sins happen. Yeah. Uh, in his name, restoration happens. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't believe it. Yes, I just call on his name. Jesus. I just call on his name. Oh, Atmospheres change. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Situations change. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, your mind will change. Your yeah. psyche will change. Yeah. Uh, a bad wind will change. Yeah. Uh, the storm got to cease. If you call on that day. Yeah. Whose blood can you be washed in and be made whole? My. <laughs> hey. I, I, I hope y'all see it why you got to glorify him. Yes, yes, yes. I, I hope you see it why you got to magnify him. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, go ahead. Yes. <laughs> And his name through faith. Now notice, he said through faith. In and his, his name, name has made this man strong. Huh? And this man was impotent that they're talking about here. Yeah. Huh? From, from birth. Yeah. Huh? Hallelujah. And, and never knew how to walk. But when they said silver and gold, have I none. Mm -hmm. huh? But such as I have, give I unto thee. Yeah. If the name.
Now, now that tells you that name has been glorified. Yes. yes. Uh, that name has been magnified. Yes. That tells you that the prayer made it through. Yes. Right. Ah, y'all know Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, the same today, yesterday, yeah, and forever. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. All right, is he done with that? No. Oh, Jesus. Whom ye see and know, uh -huh. yea, the faith which is by him uh -huh. hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Now, notice, if you call on that name, mm -hmm. it can give you what? Perfect soundness. Yes. Complete soundness. Yes. Amen. Make you completely whole. Yes. Amen. That's why we should glorify him. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's why his name is weighty. Yes. <laughs> yes. His name is honorable. Yes. Uh, his yes. name is to be praised. Yes. Uh, the scripture says his name shall be called wonderful, mm -hmm. uh, counselor, yes. uh, mighty God, yes. prince of peace, yes. everlasting father. Yes. Uh, come on here, somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You ought to give him glory. You ought to magnify him. Hallelujah. Uh, don't take his name in vain. Uh, my brother? Yeah, his, his name is above all names. Above all names. Yes. Above all names. Amen. 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 There's power in it. Yes. Power. Amen. It, it needs to be glorified. Yes. Hallelujah. It needs to be honored. Because mm -hmm. it's weighty. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, how many of you know that name is weighty? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. My God. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go back over to St. John. You done with that? Yes, sir. All right. Let's go back over to St. John. <laughs> Verse 2. Uh -huh. As thou hast given him power over all flesh. Now, now notice, he has power over what? All, all flesh. All flesh. Amen. That's significant. Mm -hmm. Read. That he now, should. Okay, thank you, Holy Ghost. Hold on. Now, we fight with our flesh on a regular basis. Regular basis. I hope we do. Yeah. I hope we ain't just giving it to our flesh every day. <laughs> no, no, no. I hope you fight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Bible says, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Uh, so, so he says, Christ has power over all flesh, mm -hmm. all over all evil desires. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. So, does he not want to transfer his power? Unto us, yeah. Yeah. so that we ourselves can have power over all flesh. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. Then, then all I got to do is glorify Him mm -hmm. and magnify Him. Yes. Yes. Amen. Live for Him. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. Read. As Thou hast given Him power over all flesh, yes. that He should give eternal life yes. to as many as Thou hast given Him. Yes. All right. Read. And this is eternal life, is life eternal, eternal life. that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. All right. So Jesus, he reveals, he's the revelation of God. Mm -hmm. uh, he reveals the Father. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah to us. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, I just want you to go to... Uh, Romans uh, chapter one and 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 no, I'm talking about sorry, Hebrews chapter number one. Hebrews. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, David Fields. Ben, I was going to just say, uh, David was able to defeat the Goliath because he came in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, he told his disciples.
I come in my father's name. Yes. This is what uh, uh, the significance of, of, of what name or party you, you're under. Yeah. Uh, I like that. Mm. My sister. I got it. Hebrews chapter 1, verse uh -huh. 1. Verse 1. Yes. God, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Yes. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who being the brightness of his glory, the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person, uh -huh. and upholding all things by the word of his power, yes. when he had made him when he had by himself purged our sins, yes. sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, uh -huh. being yeah. made so much better than the angels, uh -huh. Come on, Jesus. Uh -huh. <laughs> as he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. Yes. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth in the first gotten into the world, he said, and let all the angels of God worship him. That's what the brother was talking about. <laughs> let all the angels do what? Worship, worship him. Worship him. Read. Amen. And of the angels, he said, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire? Yes. But unto the Son, he said, thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Yes. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, yes. hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness. Jesus is anointed. Above thy fellows. Amen. Above you and I. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 That's why I say when he healed, set free, and delivered. Yes. Amen. Amen. And that's why he needs to be glorified. Yes. Yes. All right, let's go back over there. St. John. Saint Saint John. John. Verse 4. Uh -huh. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. All right, now notice. He finished, he completed the work mm -hmm. uh, that, that he was sent to do. Yes. It's done. Amen. Amen. Tell you it's done. It's done. Your salvation is secure. It's done. Yes. Amen. Yes. The work is finished. I read. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. All right. Before anything was brought forth, mm -hmm. you got to remember, Jesus, when he came to this earth, he emptied himself. Yes. Amen. 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 He became a man. <laughs> yes. uh, became a man. Mm -hmm. uh, well, here among us. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that so that he could die for you and I. Amen. So that you could retain or obtain eternal life. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He gave his life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, he was rich, but he became poor for our sake. Right. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. To help us. Yeah. All right, read. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Now notice, he's talking about, when he says thy men, he's talking about the apostles. Mm -hmm. huh? that's, all, it's, and it's, that's the beauty of this prayer. Mm -hmm. He's specific in his request. He's, he's making the request uh, that, that, that the apostles uh, would manifest the name of the Father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read that again. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Uh -huh. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and now, they have kept thy word. Now when Jesus was talking about manifesting the name of the Father, he was meaning uh, that, that he manifested the character of the Father. Mm -hmm. yes. He manifested the will and the desire 
of the Father. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. Amen? So when, Amen. We, when we see the Father, uh, we see Jesus. Amen. Amen? When we see Jesus, we see the Father. Yes. Amen? Uh, when y'all look at that. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so it is our desire, should be, that we desire to manifest the Father. Mm -hmm. uh, to manifest Jesus. Yes. Amen? Yes. Now notice, all right, read it. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me uh -huh. are of thee. Now, he's talking about the character of the Father and the nature of the Father. Yes, Lord. Amen? Amen. Jesus Amen. revealed it <coughs> so, that, so that we can have the character of the Father. Mm -hmm. So that we can have the nature of the Father. Yes. yes. Amen? Amen. Uh, now let me ask you, do you have the character of the Father? Yes. Uh, do you have the nature of yes. the Father? Thank you. Uh, and the nature of the Father is the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. Uh, do you operate in the fruit of the Spirit? Uh, do, you, do, you, do you carry yourself? Thank you, Lord. Uh, in such a way that yes. when people see you, they see the Father. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, yeah. that's, that's the goal. Yeah. Amen. That's the goal. Amen. That's why Jesus died. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's why he rose again. Yes. Uh, so that you can manifest the attributes of the Father. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, that's why when you literally study the life of Jesus, you see the character of the Father. Yes. yes. Uh, Amen. Y'all with me? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Go ahead. Read with us here. Eight. All right. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. All right. Now notice. What, what transforms you? The word. word. The word. Amen. Hallelujah. You've got to be transformed by the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now, if you want to demonstrate the character and the nature of the Father... You have to receive the word from Christ. Yes. Yes. His teachings. Yes. His doctrine. Amen. 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 Uh, and that word has to be in you. Yes. Uh, and you've got to be not only a hearer, but a doer of the word. Yes. Amen. 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 Uh, Y'all looking at that? Amen. Hallelujah. All right, read. And they have received them. Now notice, they received them. Amen? Mm -hmm. If you want to be a follower of Christ, you've got to receive the word. Yes, yes. Amen? You can't reject it. No. Uh, I read. Mean. And have known surely that I came out of thee. Uh -huh. And they have believed that thou didst send me. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Read. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Now, see, now that verse messed me up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Jesus said he wasn't praying for the world. Mm -hmm. Did Jesus ever pray for the world? You won't find it in the scripture. He prayed for the world. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You won't find it. Where he literally himself prayed for the world. Uh, that's, that's shocking to me. Mm -hmm. It shocked me too. <laughs> <laughs> He, yeah. Now, see that's the other point. He died for the world. Yeah. Uh, he gave his life for the world. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Amen. Now, why in this prayer did he not pray for the world? Yeah. Not in this prayer. Right. No. Why? Because he was praying he for the believers. He was praying. Well, he was praying for the believers. And he was praying for the, the apostles. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's all it was. Mm -hmm. He was just being specific. Yeah. Making his request known. Mm -hmm. uh, we, should, we should make our request known. Mm -hmm. And then we should always be specific. Yeah. Amen? Uh, simply at this time, uh, in this moment, he was praying for the apostles and he was praying for the disciples that would believe on him. Yes. Right. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank yes. you, Lord. My God. It'd be like me praying, Father, uh, I'm 
just saying, uh, uh, bless Christian ministry. I'm not talking about all the other churches in the world. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about Christian ministries. Right. Uh, you follow me? Mm -hmm. Like you praying for your daughter. Uh, you got a whole, you got some sons, you got some cousins. But you're saying, Lord, bless my daughter. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and the reason for this prayer is because of the urgency. Yes. Uh, Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, it's because of what he was about to do. Uh, he's about to use the apostles and he's about to use the disciples yeah. in a special way. Yeah. And now this should tell you something. That in Jesus' dying days, he was thinking about you. Yeah. Huh? He was thinking about us. Yeah. How that we don't fail the game. Huh? Yeah. Uh, Hallelujah. Now that excites me. Uh, that, that, and I should show you something. Even if Jesus took time out to pray for you, how important is this prayer? Uh, he didn't pray for the world. He prayed for you. He prayed for the apostles. That tells you how important the word of God that came through the apostles are. Yes. Y'all yes. yes. don't hear me. Yes. Y'all don't hear me. Uh, how much? How much more should we pay attention yes. to what they say? Yes. How much more should we pay attention to one another? Yes. Uh, yes. Wow. I also think that he, he didn't pray for the world because Satan is the prince of the world. And, and, and it wasn't his assignment to pray for the world. Mm -hmm. True enough. I can agree with that. Thank you. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. That wasn't part of Jesus' assignment. You know why I come out and agree with it? Because I searched it out. He didn't pray for the world. So they tell me that wasn't his assignment. <laughs> <laughs> if it was his assignment, he'd pray for the world. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Huh? Thank you. But he was focused on the ecclesia. Yeah. He was focused on the assignment of those whom he called out of the world. Yeah. That's you and I. Yeah. Right. Jesus is focused right. on us. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. That we brought the race. Yes. Huh? Now he brought the great word. Chosen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hey, everybody that believes in Jesus is chosen. Yeah. Uh, chosen, chosen by him. Everyone that receives this gospel, uh, that receives the word of God, uh, is chosen in him, in Christ. Yeah. Now let me tell you what that means. That means that when you believe on Jesus, you are, uh, because he's already a fixed pattern. Uh, if, if I were making a suit, uh, an Italian suit, I would have a pattern. Uh, that, that that suit is going to look like. Uh, Jesus is the pattern by which we ought to look like. And when we line up with him, we are chosen to live out that pattern of holiness, the pattern of righteousness. Uh, we many are called, uh, many hear the gospel, but just a few are chosen to live like him. Those that receive him have already got the pattern by which to live. Yeah. The Lord knows the way of the righteous, yes. but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Yes. Y'all believe that today? Yes. Yes. All right, what verse? Ten. All right. And all are mine, and all mine are thine, uh -huh. and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Yes. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I and I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, uh -huh. that they be, may be one as we are. Now notice, he's praying for unity, that oneness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Notice how important that is. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That they may be one even as we are. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It's important Amen. for the disciples 
the, uh, the apostles of Jesus to be one with him. Yeah. Amen. 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 If it wasn't, he wouldn't have prayed that way. Right. Right. Amen. Right. All right, read. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Uh -huh. Now, notice, he said, while I was with them in this world, he kept them what? In thy name. In thy name, through thy power, through thy clothing, yes. through thy honor. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. I'll be reading. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. Those that were given, they were kept, except for one. Read. And none of them is lost. Huh? But the son of perdition. Amen. Read. That, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Yes. Read. And now come I to thee. Now notice, I'm coming to you, Father. Read. And these things I speak in the world. Uh huh. That they might have my joy feel, fulfilled in themselves. Now notice, he's talking about them being one, and he's talking about them being having joy. Mm -hmm. Having being one with Christ brings about joy. Yes. Sir. Amen. Mm -hmm. Read. I have given them thy word, uh -huh. and the world hath hated them. Now, when, 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 uh, because the world is evil mm -hmm. and it's unrighteous, it's not going to like you. <laughs> no. Sure. Amen. Mm -hmm. So don't expect the world to like you. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, That's right. Amen. Don't yeah. expect evil people to like you. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's so well and vinegar ain't gonna mix. No. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, let me say this. I'm gonna mess somebody up here. Let me say this. <laughs> All right. Now. By Jesus' prayer here, that the world ain't gonna like you. What about the saints? Ooh. Will the saints like me? Should the saints fight me? Should they? they should. They should. They should. They should. Oh, saint would. Huh? Saint would. We take a step back. Right? Yeah. The state gonna love you. That's right. Mm -hmm. huh? So if you don't like me or you don't love me, you like the world. That's the way the world is. Amen. Wow. Wow. Something Ooh, nice. Come on here. That's right. Amen. Come on here. Ain't that way the world is? That's right. So if I don't love or like you, uh, then I got a problem. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Got a I'm acting like the world. Yeah. And he said, love not the world. Yeah. Leave yeah. the things that are in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Because he that loveth the world, the love of the Father, who I'm teaching, yeah. uh, is not in him. That's right. yeah. So if I got something that I don't like you, uh, I hate you, then I gotta check my love. Yeah. That ain't the love of the Father. The Father is not the author of that emotion. That's all off the grill right there. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. Amen? Amen. It's true. God is love. Huh? God is love. And there's no darkness in him, but at all. At all. Be you know why that is? I'm going to tell you why that is. Because I said it earlier in the Bible study. That the reason why that is, is because the unity of the saints is so important to salvation. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. huh? And the devil knows you, it. The devil, that's why he causes so much havoc. Yeah. That's why churches in their own cities don't get along. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Right. Right. Because the devil knows that. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, come on here, somebody. Amen. This ain't new doctrine for y'all. Y'all know it. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. Uh, the enemy, he sticks division. Didn't Paul preach, teach? It's Christ divided. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There were some people that were Judaizers, yes. and there were some people that were Hebrews, and they were saying, except you be circumcised, you can't be saved. Uh, and they they didn't want to they didn't want to fellowship with one another. Right. That's why Paul said it's Christ divided. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Peter he went even down to Cornelius' house, preached the gospel to those Gentiles, right. and they got saved. Yeah. Amen. Then Peter went to Jerusalem and and was fellowshipping with the brethren uh, with the Greeks 
fellowshipping with them, then the brethren come through the door and he separates himself mm -hmm. uh, from, from the Greeks. Mm -hmm. And Paul said, I would stood him to the face. Uh, 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 we stood him to the face. Uh, why? Because he was causing dissimulation between the brethren. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Amen. Uh, don't be don't be one way with me. Uh -huh. uh, then when your friends come along, you be another way. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't be holding on it now. Yeah. One way, then next way right. you 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 act like the devil. Yeah. Double minded yeah. man is unstable. Yeah. Yeah. All in way. Uh, don't yeah. be like that. Mm. Amen. Oh, amen. Oh, amen. Oh, you say right. praise the Lord to me in the house. Say praise the Lord to me out there. In the street. Amen. 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 You follow me? Yeah. That's a PTL. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be different. Don't be flaky. Right. Bishop. Uh, love, 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 love. Bishop, we had a brother. He didn't care where you was at. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to go that far. Oh, 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 he can see you way down the street, marched down the street. Praise the Lord! Oh, I'm so good. If you see me way down this way, everybody looking at you. People be looking. Right. What are you talking about? Everybody want to do you. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, be. I'm talking about it. God is not our great confusion. He's not the our great confusion. If you carry any confusion, it's mm -hmm. not God. Double-minded person is unstable. Yes. Yeah. Amen. No division in the church. Amen. 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 Uh, it's got to be strict unity of love. Yes. Why? Because the, the mission of Christ depends on it. Yes. Yeah. So, Bishop, we shouldn't have nothing against nobody in here. Nope. No. If you do, you go to them straight down. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, that's right. what you do. Straight down. They don't hear you, bring to uh, a witness. They don't hear you, bring them before the church. Amen. And if they don't hear the offending party, he said, put them out. Amen. And notice when Paul said, uh, when you put somebody out for the destruction of the flesh, uh, turn them over to Satan, uh, destruction of the flesh. Notice, for what purpose? That the spirit may be saved. Yes. That's what he said. Uh, uh, it's all about salvation. Yeah. It's not God's will that anybody should perish. Yeah. That's, right. uh, That's right. It ain't about destruction. No. Amen. When, when I chased my children, uh, I didn't chase them to kill them. No. Uh, I wasn't trying to kill them. No. Uh, I just wanted to get the foolishness out of them. Yeah. But I wanted them to, I wanted them to uh, think I was killing them. <laughs> Amen. When God chases us, He's not trying to kill us. No. He's trying to get the foolish out of this love out of us so he can so, so, so he can love us. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, I said that wrong. So that so that we can do right. He already loves us. That's right. Amen. Right. I was yeah, I would say so that he'd be glorified. Absolutely. So he's not being glorified if we're not showing love to one another. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Now you hit that on another level. Mm -hmm. And that's true. Mm -hmm. He's not being glorified, he said. If we're not loving one another. That's right. Amen. Huh? That's right. And that's true. That's right. Amen? Amen. Ain't that true? Amen. Yes, it is. I'm going to cut your throat easy tonight. <laughs> Amen. That's true. <laughs> huh? Amen. I'm going to love you regardless of what's going on. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. I'm going to love you regardless mm -hmm. of how I feel. Yeah. Uh, my feelings don't get in the way of me loving you. I shouldn't let that happen. No, no. Amen? Right. Uh, aren't you greater than your feelings? Huh? You're greater than your feelings. Amen? And you can do all things to Christ that strengthens you. Amen? Hallelujah. My God. My God. Yes, Lord. There was one sister, and I never forget it. Um, uh, the man... Killed her son here and here. Huh? She went down to the Erie County Prison and told the man face to face, I forgive you. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. huh? Come on, yeah. we get quiet over here. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Y'all tell me, was Jesus working? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Bishop, it's really, it's actually best to forgive a person as soon as it happens. That's it. Because the longer you wait, the more justifiable you'll, you'll have. You can make more excuses up why you yeah, shouldn't. You shouldn't do it. Right. So as, as soon as someone offends you or does something that you, you know you think it shouldn't be done, you I immediately forgive them. Absolutely. Right then. Uh, I was listening to a bishop. This is this early in my saved life, Bishop Nehemiah Smith, yeah. Tide Tongue Christian, Tide Tongue. Yeah, he and uh, uh, he, was, he was winding up his sermon, and he said something that stuck with me even unto now, what she just said. Mm -hmm. He said, as soon as I get the hit, yeah. I'm saying for, I forgive him right then. Yes. Uh, because he didn't want it to settle. That's right. Wow. Amen? Uh, mm -hmm. And that stuck with me. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the way I practice it too. Yeah. As soon as you hurt me, yeah. I, I'm forgiving you. Amen. I'm letting it go. I'm making excuses for you. Amen. Lord, let it be. Lord, <laughs> Lord, yeah. Lord, help us. Yeah. Help me, Lord. Yeah. I'm letting them go. Yeah. I'm letting them go. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, what you say? Uh, I'm not allowing giving space for the enemy. Right. Yeah. Right. Amen. Because the enemy will take that thing and work with you. Yeah, he will. Right. Yeah, he Amen. Will. All right. Where we at? We got to move on. 14. Uh -huh. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them. Now notice. I've given them thy word, and the world have hated them. Read. Because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Now, now notice. Uh, we're going to get down into the scripture, but Jesus is saying that they are not of the world. Amen. When we came out uh, and got into the body of Christ, we are no longer of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and meaning this, we don't operate as the world operates. Right, right. Uh, we operate according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, isn't that right? Yeah. right. Amen. All right, that's how we operate, mm -hmm. according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. That's how we live our lives. Man. According to the word of God. Man. man shall not live by what? Bread alone. But by what? Every word. Every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Of God. Yeah. Amen. I read. 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, uh -huh. but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. All right. So, so why would he say don't take them out of the world, but keep them from the evil? Witnesses. Yeah. Huh? He wants you to be a witness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Now, that's another hinge point on why we got to have unity. Because mm -hmm. huh? he wants us to be a witness. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen? Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to be workers together so that we can be witnesses. Mm -hmm. uh, and can I say this? Thank you, Lord. Can I say this? Yes, sir. Thank you. You gave me permission. <laughs> that thank you Jesus I say it like this thank you Lord. that the, that the you see the world come together and some things more so than you will see the church come yeah together. yeah true yeah uh -huh. and when I say the church I'm not talking about the body of Christ I'm talking about church work Mm -hmm. There's a difference mm -hmm. between saints and church folk. That's true. Wow. Mm -hmm. There's a huge difference. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Are you a saint or are you church folk? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the world will come together on something totally opposite of what they believe for a common cause. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, now we believe in Jesus. Amen. Yeah. And, and and the enemy can keep us divided. Yeah. Amen. Because it's a tactic. 
Huh? Yes, sir. That's right. He baits you. He baits you. Yep. Notice the scripture. A house divided against itself. What? Cannot stand. Cannot stand. Abraham Lincoln made that famous. Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus made it famous. But Abraham Lincoln took it and put it in his, wow. his, his, his uh, speech. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Can't be divided. Mm -hmm. Even in your own home. Yeah. Uh, husband and wife divided. Yeah. You got chaos. Yeah. Uh, and the children divided against the parents. You got chaos. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. No joy, no happiness. Mm -hmm. wow. Amen? Mm -hmm. Then you should be able to feel the love of Jesus. Mm -hmm. My sister. And when you go out witnessing, you usually do it in pairs. Yeah. But I used to see two saints go out witnessing to some other people, and the pe they witness to this person, and then the they disagree on something. The two saints start arguing between each other right there. You don't do that. You're not competing. You you just let it go until you get to yourselves. Right. So and that right. and the and the person you're witnessing to will probably never even notice it. But the two saints stopped right then and started arguing about what the, the man that ain't right. You, no, no, you ain't. No, no. You know. Also, and then also. you just yeah. See, now you got to be wise. Now see, now see, let's magnify that. That's a beautiful example. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful example. Yeah. Now I, we got visitors come into the house of God, right? Mm -hmm. Deacon Field. Uh, and uh, Minister uh, Ratcliffe, they arguing at each other, <laughs> ready, to, ready to fight. No. Huh? Tell you step outside, I cut your so and so off. <laughs> uh, I'm a visitor. Wow. I'm a visitor. Yeah. I'm not coming back there no more. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Huh? At church. I'm out of here. Yeah. And they could be teasing, but they don't know it. Right. I'm out of here. Unless I like, unless I like that. Fight the dead drama. Oh, yeah. Yeah. look, I ain't got to take that deal. Fight the You follow what I'm saying? I'm trying to make the, the point where Jesus is making here of that, that, that we ought to be one with God and we ought to be one with one another mm -hmm. in order to make this thing work. Right, right, right. right. My brother? I was just going to say, we know that, right? Yes. We know that division is not good. Right. But we refuse to stop it. Yeah. Yeah. We refuse to stop it. Even though we know uh, unity is togetherness and we'll be stronger at it, but yet we refuse to come together. And that's what the scripture means about us contending for the faith. Mm-hmm. That faith does not mean your individual faith. It means the faith of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, I got I got I can be, this brother can be right 300%. But if it's going to cause an argument between us, go ahead, brother, you can have it. Yeah. You got that. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, take it. Huh? I can have the goods on, 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 on my brother Glenn here. Mm -hmm. Right? I got the video and everything. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Huh? But the Bible says, "Blessed are the merciful, right? Yeah. Right. For they shall obtain mercy." Yeah. Yes. Huh? You follow me? Mm -hmm. my, my job is not to exploit him. No. Right. My job is to help him. Right. Right. Your job is not to exploit one another. No. Our right. job is to help one another. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 What? Uh, and you know. Some people get excited up when the, at the downfall of others. Oh, oh yeah. they can't oh, wait to. I'm just it. Yeah. I didn't even I even taught myself if I see somebody fall, not to laugh. That's right. Some people see somebody fall down, they crack up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First they, they justify themselves. Lottie seen me fall one day. I said, Lottie, why are you laughing? She said, Pop, I asked you if you was okay. And you said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but still, they answer the question. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh when people fall. No. 
Time to help you get up. I shouldn't laugh when you going through something. Very much so. Good for you. Good. Good. I just went back. Let's see. Who's the person? All right. Where we at? Read. Where we at? I got five more minutes. Six more. Sixteen. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. All right. Jump down to verse one. Neither pray I for these alone. Now notice, Jesus said, I am not just praying for these people alone. But for them also which shall believe on me through their word. All right, Jesus said, I'm praying for those that's going to believe on me through the word of the apostles. Mm -hmm. He's praying for us mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. All right, read. That they all may be one. Huh? As that there, that, that notice, there's that oneness in you. Mm -hmm. That we all may be one. Unity, mm -hmm. read. As thou, Father, art in me. Now, what's the what's the what's the demarcation? What's the the line of standing? Mm -hmm. The oneness that Christ is with the Father, we should have oneness with the Father. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Same oneness. All right, read. That they also may be one in us. Huh? That now notice. So that they also may be one in us. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Now notice. Now, that's, now that verse right there is the reason why. Let me, let me get, let me get five back down. Mm -hmm. The reason why the world is struggling with the gospel is because of a lack of unity between us. <coughs> they don't believe Jesus is real. Wow. Read that again. <laughs> That they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee. Uh -huh. That they also may be one in us. Uh -huh. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Now, that's the problem. I was talking to Glenn earlier. He was talking about an individual uh, uh, wasn't coming to Christ because of the example that, that was set before them. Became a stumbling block. Isn't that what we talked about? Became a stumbling block. Mm -hmm. This very, this is the very reason why we got to come together so that people can believe Jesus is real. Yes. Amen. Yes. How do you know your past from darkness to light? By the love you know, we brother. show to a brother. brother. Yes. Right. Why not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And love is unconditional. Yes, it is. Huh? What does that mean, unconditional? No limit. No limit. No limit. Everlasting. Everlasting. No stipulation. There it is. There it is. See, we, you know, you're know, being poetry. <laughs> no stipulation. No conditions. No conditions. Amen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No stipulation. No condition. Yeah. Amen? Let me ask you. Transgender person come in here. Would you love them? Yeah. 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 Oh, I like that. Glad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? <laughs> nope. You love them. Hey, people. Mm -hmm. so. Amen. Um, My sister. I was going to say, you love them, but not their lifestyle. Right. You don't that's agree with that. You, you know, right. that's what you don't agree with. Right. But you love the person. Ooh. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because yeah. we all belong to God. Right. And God is love. If we say we love God, we have to love his people. Right. You know, we all belong to God. Right. But it's the lifestyle that the person is living that you might disagree with. Well, let, let me ask you this question, because you bring up a nice one. I like it. Um, how can I love the person and not the lifestyle? Because I mean, would that affect how I treat the person? Go ahead. It shouldn't affect the way you treat a person. Uh -huh. Love is an action word. 
Yeah. When God said he loved us, he did something. He gave his only begotten son. Uh -huh. If I see that person in me, I show my love. Yeah. But again, I don't agree with the lifestyle. Right. But I'm showing you that I love you by helping you the best way I can. Wow. That's right. Does that apply to all situations, all conditions? Yes, it does. Because God has no, he has no stipulation. He has no, every, everything is pure with God. Yes. So we should be the same way. My, my. And no matter... What my brother or my sister does, doesn't matter. I, I should still treat them with love, yeah. help them with dignity and respect, yeah. uh, regardless. That's a key word, though, Bishop. You using a key word. You have to. Have to. My brother, what, what, what key word? Should. Should. I was just going to say that, um, <laughs> you know, the Bible says, and such were some of you. Woo! So the thing of it is, I mean, not saying that. Somebody else in here was transgender, but sin something. is sin. Yeah, you did something. You'll go to hell just as quick for lying as you will for being a homosexual. That's true. So just because he come in here and he messed up, <clears throat> don't mean you better than he was. You was going to hell too yes. before God forgave you. Yes. And you want God to forgive him, so you got to treat this man with love so he can be saved. Yes. He has a soul. And if, if my brother or my sister... Especially because we're in relationship with one another. Mm -hmm. We're in closeness with one another. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just take my wife for instance. If my wife hurt me, I'm hurt. Sure. If, I, if you, what y'all hurt me? Not I can, that I'll hurt. be like, whoa, well, I can't go by my I can, I can go <laughs> through. If my, if my yeah. wife hurt me, that's yeah. close. That's a hurt. That's, deep. that's a hurt. Yeah. yeah. And, and, it still applies that I got to get over that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. if, if either one of y'all hurt either one of y'all, y'all, it'll hurt, but you got to get over it. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. That's can't right. hold on to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's Just right. like I can't hold on to, would that, would that affect my relationship with her? Yeah. Yeah. I'm carrying around uh, what, she, what she did. Right. Uh, or she carried around what I did. Frank ain't cooking. Thank you, Lord. I ain't helping. Uh, I Thank you, Lord. And I said, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. Uh, now, wouldn't that, now, wouldn't that affect my relationship? A lot of people divorce. Uh, now, now, let me, let me, let me, let's, 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 let's take it. Let's take it. We in psychology class 101 right here. Uh, now, now, would that affect the relationship with my children? Yeah. Uh, especially if we mention that D word, divorce. Oh yeah. That's going to affect that relationship. Now, would that affect the relationship here at Christian Ministry? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Would that affect my relationship with God? Yeah. Uh, now. Would that affect my relationship with the community that know we say, right. that believe we say? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Huh? yeah. So you, you see my point? Yeah. Huh? Our relationship matters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's effective. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. man's an island. Yeah. Huh? Mm, I like that. If, if Deacon Fields went out and started running me down, huh? wouldn't that affect somebody? Yeah. Some people say, no, I don't believe that about that queen. Some people say, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I know it all along. Because those people were just waiting for you to fall. Absolutely. Yeah. But you see my point? How we got to stay together no matter what. Yeah. How we got to be unconditional no matter what. Right. You might have to handle it. Uh -huh. Go ahead. I was going to say, people are looking to belong. <laughs> Yes. You know, they're, they're wanting to attach themselves to something, but True. if they think it's counterfeit or fake, they, 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 they don't want nothing to do with it. And, 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 and oh, one man, part is it bad. Sure. They, 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 they just go down. <laughs> so we all have to play the, the, the role of oneness in that respect. That's true. And if you mess up, you 
know, we have an advocate. Go to that person. Say, hey, you know what? I didn't. I should have said, called y'all them names. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. You know, you know, we we need men with things, like you said, reconciliation. We need to never come to you. Yeah. 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 We won't mess up sometimes, but just figure it out. Yep. Yes. Why are we teaching like this? Because it's necessary. It's necessary. It's needed. Yeah. I believe, I believe God wants, it's, it's what God wants for his church. That's yes. what I believe. Right? That's yes. Because it's, it's been coming up. And, and the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, because, because it's a greater, it's a greater thing that he's doing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in the body. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to in the body. Mm -hmm. You follow me? All churches got issues. Yes, sir. Amen. But it's a greater thing that he's doing in the body. Amen. Ah, amen. 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 Go ahead. Bishop, we take it to the limits as we were saying of the homosexuals or whoever. But you have to be able to sit here and go down this road and make sure you love everybody up in here. The brothers and the sisters, the saints. Can you love them? Or can you do you just patch that up and keep it going? We got to love each other. Mm -hmm. No yeah. matter what kind of a lifestyle you are, if I can help you, I'm gonna help you. Right. Yeah. But I ain't gonna tear you down. No. I'm gonna still. I, not only am I gonna love you, I got to love. You. Yeah. Amen. So you walk around and think it's all right if you want to. Mm. Yes, you do. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> This sure ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> because it's, it's, it's essential. It's essential. Yes, it is. Uh, because I hope I've proven the point tonight through the Bible study. Yeah. That, that we have Christ to glorify. Mm -hmm. And the only way now he's going to be glorified is through us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, by we operating in the yeah. word. Man. Okay. All right, my sister, then my sister. But it goes back to what you said at the beginning. If the unity ceases, then we can't keep spreading the gospel. So it's important for us to stay unified. Because if we don't, then people in the world will not hear this because we ain't going to be spreading the gospel. We're going to be just like them. Amen. Can I, can I say this? Now yeah. I'm going to let my sister say something. Um, when, when the Lord had me seeking salvation, when he was really dealing with me, I had prayed to send his prayer and all that, you know, I wanted to be saved, <laughs> you know, so the Lord was, 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 was taking me through that route. I was going from church to church, right? What stopped me from joining some churches that I was there, um, was the fact that when the choir got up, they was in the club with me and that night the night Ooh, before. Oh, real. Wow. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. uh, my, my, my dope dealer was there. Wow. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Follow me. Mm -hmm. uh, being a deacon. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. Follow what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. Uh, Y'all with me? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and that blocked me. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Why? Uh, I'm glad it blocked me. Mm -hmm. For real. Huh? Mm -hmm. It stopped. Yeah. Huh? And until I went to a church I ain't know nothing about, full of holiness people. Mm -hmm. uh, now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure that there's some sinners in there. Oh yes. Uh, but God hid them from me. Yeah. Because He knew who I was. Mm -hmm. Judgmental. Even up. Mm -hmm. wow. uh, wow. He knew I was full of the world. Right. Uh, judgmental. Judgmental Frank. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm doing the same stuff you're doing, wow. but I'm judging you. you ain't gonna be the Block. Yeah. But until I went to that great church, saw the holiness people. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. My brother. Love you, sister. Oh yeah, we definitely. Uh, we all have sinned, come short of the glory of God. And the scripture says, shall we continue in sin 
that grace may abound. God, God can be. So, so Christ has come to give us the power to stop us from sin. Mm -hmm. To some stop us from being hypocrites. Which is the Holy Ghost. To stop us from being liars. Yeah. Amen. Change our life. What is that power, Bishop? The Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. That's why he says, all power has been given unto him. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he shares that power with us. Because yes, notice, there's no sin in him. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Now. To, to get to that mature state wherein you're overcoming everything that you uh, comes your way, it's a process yes. Yes. called sanctification. Yes. Yes. Amen? Amen? And along this way, as, I, as I'm living toward that mark to be like Jesus, yes. if I sin, I confess it, and the blood of Jesus is, is faithful, he's faithful and just to cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. I keep on going. <coughs> I forsake uh, my bad behavior. Mm -hmm. I keep on going. Man. Does that answer your question? Yeah. All right. Think of it. Think of it. Then. I like it. I like it. And that's huge. Make Jesus your choice. Yeah. Amen. Choose. Mm -hmm. Amen. Refuse mm -hmm. to go back. Yeah. yeah. Refuse to do certain things. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I was I was so caught up with not with not lying, because I used to be a liar. You know? Big. We all do. And, and uh uh, I was so determined not to be a liar. Talk to us about I would tell you that it's 4 o'clock. It could be 4.06. 